we got to make our way back to East Pole. The, uh, the plan for this was he was eventually going to kind of take the bearers under the protective wing of Sid. They were, I don't know, the blight is getting too close and food is getting low in quantity. And everybody there is kind of in danger anyway. So, although they've been safe up to this point, it's probably not the best place for them to stay. Man, this blight thing is nasty looking. <laughs> I wonder if it spreads like an actual blight or if it's just the result of ether being sucked out of the ground. So, it, like, it'll happen wherever. Like, will this eventually just spread into the town? Or does something have to happen in the town in order to make the blight spread into it? And the fact that we have a gate right here that seems to be holding it back, that doesn't make any sense. It's, like, right up against the side of the town. The only thing between it and the town is the gate. <laughs> Here. Of course we knew this was going to end up happening. Nobody ends up having a good time in these games, do they? It had even been mentioned by the mayor that as food was running out, they tried giving the bearers to, um, to come and collect the... Uh, having the Empire come and collect the bearers because it, like, at least they'd have something to eat you know, if they did that. So the Empire was aware that these people were out there, but the guy said that they were rejected because they were, I don't know, something. I guess not good enough bearers <laughs> for the, uh, or branded for the Empire. But of course, him going and telling them that means that, well, everybody knows they're here. So eventually, everybody was coming, going to come back and just sort of screw everyone's up day up, you know? You would think the bearers would be better at able, be better able to defend themselves, considering that they have the ability to cast magic and most everyone else doesn't. They'd be like just showing up, like some soldiers would show up. It's like we're gonna kill y'all, and they start throwing fireballs at them or something. I guess it could be sort of going back to Dragon Age. You had the mages, then you had the Templars, which were trained to deal with the mages. And although the mages had all the power, the Templars had, like, practiced their techniques as well as, like, the use of some kind of drugs and stuff to resist the magic of the mages. So the Templars could, um, just sort of overpower the mages and stop them from doing what they were going to do. Maybe that's what's happening here, or maybe I'm just overthinking it. I think I'm overthinking it. All must burn! The bearers and those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command! There we have it. Empress Annabella. That was, uh, that was Clive and Joshua's mother, am I right? Or am I remembering that name wrong? It's been a while. <laughs> but she it was at her command that they come out here and just kill everyone. There is something wrong with that woman. And of course we saw through her um, actions in the beginning of the game she was very power hungry. Now she wanted Joshua to have survived because Joshua seemed to, she seemed to have uh, pegged all of her aspirations on Joshua surviving and, and didn't give a damn about Clive. And as far as I can tell probably didn't really give a damn about her husband either. I mean he was killed and she didn't seem to care about that. Was it just because she... I don't, I don't know. I guess it was just about power, authority, or status with her. Would there have been any kind of um, plan on her part to have used his power for her own gains? Or is it just like... I don't know. She sided with the Empire, that the people that invaded her homeland, so... And she's an empress now, so I guess she married the guy. I'm so 
sorry, Lady Hannah. You deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Gav! Clive! Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav, we want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Lord Kubka has a message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. 